Nazis. Nazis. Everywhere. Apparently that's what's going on. I mean, J.K. Rowling is a Nazi, apparently, over her views on trans and the Wiggles are Nazis. I don't even know why that is. And Aunt Jemima's um, syrup, that's uh, some form of Nazism. And I mean, everything is a Nazi today. Have you noticed that everyone is being accused of being some kind of far-right racist or radical Nazi? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to reveal the truth uh, today on the report from Tiger Mountain that there's only one true Nazi around at the moment. And those new Nazis are the globalists. <laughs> Yes, ladies and gentlemen, today on the report from Tiger Mountain, we're going to talk about the globalists as the real Nazis of today. I mean, you see in globalist media that everybody is being accused of being a Nazi. Uh, everybody, and myself included. Um, you know, everyone's been accused of being a Nazi. From like Mary Poppins, because she wore blackface, um, because she cleaned chimneys. I don't know what that's got to do with blackface, apropos someone like Al Jolson or something. It's utterly ridiculous. But everyone, just about everybody in Western civilization in some form or another. Ricky Gervais is a Nazi. Um, I don't know. I mean, there's been so many um, different kinds of crises different kinds of public kind of politically correct cancel culture bullshit that people have been called racists or Nazis, etc, etc. And I all just think it's a load of nonsense, but I wanted to point out who I believe the real Nazis are, and that are the globalists. Uh, it's not the far right, even though there probably are a few neo-Nazis in the far right, I'll happily admit it, and within, say, the far left, there probably are a few, I guess what you call totalitarian communists in, in that part of politics, absolutely. Um, but the people who are the real Nazis who actually have all the power today are the globalists. Now, what kind of Nazi are they? Obviously, there are many types of Nazi around today. Now, they're not your normal kind of Nazi or fascist. They are kind of capitalist um, fascists or capitalist Nazis. Um, now, they are a kind of new form of fascism or a new form of Nazism. Um, they are around um, money and extreme wealth. That's the values that the globalists value. And to join the club, um, you have to become a kind of almost like a billionaire or a mega billionaire. Um, and that's almost like the price of admission. So if you look at it as a kind of mega billionaire form of fascism, that's a good way of understanding what's going on. And um, if you do that, I think you get a clear picture that we're in a kind of plutocratic fascistic kind of age in, in many ways. And, um, and I think one of the reasons um, the globalist media is constantly accusing uh, so many people of being fascists or Nazis or this and that is because they are themselves. It's a great form of projection. One of the great things uh, when you're guilty of something, you often, many people project it. You know what I mean? Uh, they say, oh, it's that person over there. I mean, that, the globalists are so guilty of that. It's beyond a joke. I mean, Jung, who's just behind me on the wall, would talk about that. Um, so I think, you know, they really are the Nazis in the sense that they are pushing some kind of radical agenda. And I mean, if you doubt it, well, I mean, what have you been doing in 2020? You have been under house arrest. Because of what? Some kind of um, disease. It's clearly real, um, but it's also been over hysteriaized by globalist media and it's been released by the number one um, globalist ally, which is China. So there's a weird kind of um, alliance that's gone on between mega billionaires and the, the Chinese state, um, and, and which is a nationalist state. So there's a kind of weird kind of alliance because the globalists normally are against nations except for the state of China. They realize they probably can't get rid of every single nation on earth. So they've decided to work with the Chinese because they represent a kind of totalitarian, a kind of fascistic totalitarianism that they appreciate, even though it technically has its, has its um, I guess, genesis in kind of a left-wing Marxist ideas. So you're seeing a kind of really strange mix of kind of capital, radical capitalism and radical communism forming this new kind of fascism, which is a kind of mix between, um, I guess, what you call Chinese Maoism and and radical uh, extreme um, capitalism. And that's why there's this new kind of globalist Nazi phenomena. And, you know, if you, as I said, if you doubt that they really are the Nazis, who are the people keeping you under house arrest this year? One of the reasons you can't and go out in public without wearing a mask. I mean, you know, their power is absolutely um, undoubtable and their reach is absolutely unquestionable. Um, so that's what I wanted to talk about. And they are the Nazis of today. So just think about it. And uh, so when anyone, you know, in media calls somebody a Nazi, just know who the real Nazis are. That's the globalists, ladies and gentlemen.